Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your business using System IO. Automation saves you time and ensures your contacts get a seamless experience from the moment they subscribe to after they make a purchase. System IO has two main automation features, rules and workflows. Let's break down how to use both, starting with the simplest. Let's start with rules. Think of an automation rule as a simple, if this, then that command. It consists of two parts, a trigger, which is the event that happens, and an action, which is what you want System IO to do automatically when that event occurs. To create one, navigate to the Automations tab and click on Rules. We can see the two rules that we created on our funnels in previous videos. Let's create a new one together. First, you choose a trigger. This is the If This part. Click the plus button and you'll see a list of available triggers. This includes events like tag added, funnel step form subscribed, campaign completed, or a new sale. Let's use a common example, new sale. I'll select that. I will specify the funnel and the specific order form containing my product. Now we define the action, the then that part. Click the plus button in the action column. You can do things like subscribe a contact to a campaign, add or remove a tag, enroll them in a course, or even send a webhook. A great thing about rules is you can add multiple actions to a single trigger. For this new sale trigger, the first action I'll add is add a tag, choose customers. This helps me segment my audience. For my second action, I'll choose subscribe to campaign. I can select a specific onboarding campaign that I've created just for new customers. For a third action, I might choose send email to a specific email address. This is useful for notifying yourself or a team member that a new sale has been made. Very exciting. Once you're done, click save rule. And that's it. This simple rule now automatically tags new customers adds them to an onboarding email campaign and notifies you every time a sale happens. Now, let's look at workflows. While rules are great for simple direct automations, workflows are for building more complex visual sequences with multiple steps and conditions. From the Automations tab, click on Workflows. Let's create one by clicking Create. I'll name it New Lead Nurturing and click Save. To edit it, click on the workflow's name. This opens a visual editor that makes it easy to map out your entire automation process. First, we need to create your first trigger. This is what starts the workflow. Let's choose Funnel Form Subscribed and select the opt-in page from our previous funnel where we offer a lead magnet. Now, click the plus sign below the trigger to add your first step. You have three options, action, decision, or delay. Let's start with an action. I want to immediately subscribe them to my lead nurturing email campaign. I'll choose subscribe to campaign and select the correct one. Next, I don't want to overwhelm them. So I'll add a delay, click the plus icon, choose delay and set it to wait for three days. This gives them time to receive the first few emails from the campaign. After the delay, I wanna check if they've become a customer. This is where a decision comes in. Click the plus icon, select decision. A decision splits the path based on certain criteria. I'll choose the filter, contact tagged with and select the customer's tag we used earlier. This creates two paths, a yes path and a no path. If the answer is yes, meaning they have the customers, I can add another action. For this path, I will unsubscribe them from the campaign because they no longer need it. If the answer is no, they haven't purchased yet, I can just let the workflow end and they will continue to receive the nurturing campaign emails. As you can see, this visual editor makes it incredibly easy to understand and manage even complex automation sequences. Once your workflow is built, Go back to the workflow list, hover over the three dots next to your workflow and click activate to turn it on. So to recap, use rules for simple one-step automations. Use workflows when you need to create multi-step sequences with delays and conditional logic. That's how you can automate your business with System.io. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.